All right, so real quick before I get into the video, um, I just want to say thank you to the fan that actually made me my new uh, channel art and my profile picture. I know I'm a little bit late, uh, but anyways, guys, if you like what you did here, go ahead and make sure you check out the link here uh, on the screen and then also in the description box. Uh, now, this trick was performed by James Glea on Ellen. Um, it was an older video. I saw it a while ago. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm just going to be showing you how to do it. I'll do a quick performance, and then i give you guys the tutorial. All right, so to start off this trick, all I'd have you do is go ahead and pick the first card. Just call it stop whenever you want. Let's see where you say stop here. Random card. And uh, let's say you've picked the nine of diamonds. So um, at this point, all I'd have you do here is put your signature on the card. But since you're not, I'll do it real quick. Let's say we put this on the card. And I'm just doing this to show you guys that there are no other cards that are uh, similar to this card here. So let's go ahead and let's take this card and let's lose it into the middle of the pack. So at this point, your card goes in the middle. I snap my fingers and I can show you that your card should actually reveal itself to us. As you can see, your card is now the only blue card in the deck with a giant purple X on it. Let's go ahead and look at it. As you can see, the nine of diamonds. So from here, let's go ahead and take your card. I'll leave it underneath the box this way you guys can see I'm not going to manipulate that card in any way. Let's go ahead and I'll mix up the deck a little bit and then you can pick a new card. So the same thing before, just go ahead, say stop whenever you want. Let's say you said stop here. And as you can see, you've picked a random card in from here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You've actually chosen uh, a joker. So at this point, all I would like to do is let's say we mix up your joker into the pack. So I'll take your joker here. Give the deck a few cuts, shuffle the deck up as well. And now what I should have done here is I should have been able to not only lose your joker in the middle, but bring your card back up to the top. But this is kind of impossible because over here, this should be your card. So it's impossible to have two signatures, for two different cards. So let's go ahead, as you can see, I'm going to snap my fingers. And now remove the signature from this card and then your card is needed here to begin with. So this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. And uh, if you want to do it, don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. All right, so before I get into explaining the trick, um, I just want to say I'm also going to be doing another deck giveaway. And all you have to do is upload a video of either you doing an original trick or you doing a trick that you just like. And do that, upload the video, come back to the, uh, the comment section here and write done. In between, I'll look at all your videos, I'll try to and I'll pick a winner by the uh, end of next week. So uh, you'll be winning a deck and also this signed card from the video. So um, anyways guys, here is how you can actually do the trick. So what you need to do beforehand is get, let's say like James Glay, he uses two jokers. So what you need to do is get a red joker and then a blue joker like this and you can put the red or you can put the X on it like he does, um, but you don't really need to do that. But um, anyways, the setup goes, um, Basically, you can just leave one of the jokers on top of the deck here, and the other joker goes on the bottom. So the blue joker with the X goes on the bottom, and the other joker goes on top. You want to make sure they're both the same, so one's not the guarantee, and one isn't like this regular joker. So make sure you have that set up, and then you can really have the spectators choose any card to begin with from the beginning. So it um, really is a free selection, but I recommend having them choose the card the same way twice. This way it doesn't really look suspicious. So what I did... Um, it was a slip force and I can leave the link up on the screen you guys can go check that out but Basically, you'd leave the card that you want them to have signed on um, Up top or you can you can just take the cards riffle down They can say stop you can give the card to them um, and then they can have a free selection So at this point, let's say they were to sign and pick this card the five of spades So you can really go ahead and you can really have them sign this card. It's random They sign the card and then you can give it to them or anything if you want them to check, make sure that it's authentic or whatever. But um, at this point, all I have to do is cut the deck. And because that blue joker is on the bottom, you can just place their card into the middle and then cut the deck, leave everything on top. So at this point, you can just spread the deck and show them that their card has now revealed itself um, to them. So you can see it's the only card and you just take the card. If you, if you spread the deck, you can just take the cards exactly where the blue card is and move the rest of the deck back on top and then from here you do a, uh, a double lift so because obviously this is still the joker so you need to be able to flip over um, the two cards so you take the cards flip it over you say look so like your card is the only card that was blue and it's the joker 
you take the two cards and then you flip it over and you say look I'll leave your card here on the table and you're leaving that uh, that Joker so their card is still staying on top so you can tell them to go ahead and put the box on top of the card or you could have them um, hold the card It's actually better if they would actually be holding the card throughout the trick so they're holding that in their hand and as you're giving them the card and just as you're misdirecting them you're taking the top card in this case their actual signed card and you're doing a double undercut moving this card to the bottom so very simple you do the double undercut and now what you're left with is this joker on top so the random red one and then their card on the bottom so from here you actually do a slip force and I'll leave the link up on the screen and you're just forcing that top card here so this joker they can say stop wherever they say stop here take the card out it's gonna be that joker so um, you can tell them to look at it and they can be holding it um, but basically nonchalant you don't really make a big deal about what you're doing you just have to control this card back to the top of the deck so in the performance it's kind of difficult to misdirect you guys considering uh, the viewing angle here is so small basically all I did was I pulled down that bottom card here caught a thumb break like this swing cut the cards still holding the break here of this card transferring that to a pinky break so I'm now holding your card right here and then taking portions of the cards off until I get to the pinky break and now your card has actually been controlled to the top so you can do whatever you want make sure you get to the top of the deck and then basically what I did was I said look so I'll take uh, your card in this case a joker I leave it on top and I tell you or I told you that I was going to lose it into the pack so from here I did a false cut and I'll leave the link up the screen do a false cut making sure no cards uh, are disturbed and now you have the same exact uh, setup and then I did ripple shuffle leaving those two cards on top so at this point you tell your spectators look I've mixed your joker somewhere in the middle but what it also happened to do is bring your card to the top so again you do another double lift okay showing them uh, their card the five of spades or whatever card they signed and you say look this is impossible because there's two different signatures on two different cards so at this point when you say that you flip the five back over you hand it to them okay them thinking it's still the five and you say look so I'd have to snap my fingers and remove the signature from this card you flip it over and reveal it it's also a joker and then you can do whatever you want again snap your fingers and say look actually your card has also disappeared and both the cards happen to be jokers so uh, this is a trick guys I hope you guys like it don't forget to do uh, the stuff for that deck giveaway and winning the signed card and I hope you guys like the video and as always thanks for watching